go. We're back in the temple of time. But have seven years really passed? It looks like you won't be able to use some of the weapons you found as a kid anymore. Let's get out of here! Where did he get the sheath? <laughs> I've been waiting here for you, hero of time. When evil rules all, and an awakening voice from the sacred realm will call those destined, destined to be the sage who will dwell in the, five temp in the five temples. One in the deep forest. One on a high mountain. One under a vast lake. One within the house of the dead. One inside the goddess of sand. Together with the hero of time. The Awakened Ones will bind the evil and return light to the place of the world. This is the legend of the temples passed down by my people, the Sheikah. I am Sheik, the survivor of the Sheikahs. As I see you standing there holding the, mythic, the mythical Master Sword, you really do look like the legendary hero of time. If you believe the legend, you have no choice. You must look for the five temples and awaken the five sages. On one sage is waiting for the awakening in the forest. In the forest temple, the sage is a girl. I'm sure you know. Because of the evil power in the temple, she cannot hear the awakening call in the sacred realm. Unfortunately, equipped as you currently are, you cannot even enter the temple. But if you believe in what I'm saying, you should head to Kakariko Village. Do you understand, Link? We will be right back. Hello. Hey. I'm Brandon. I'm Matt. And welcome back to some after me long editing some stuff that we had to do off camera. Well, not really off camera. I, I like listening to this. Why? That's such a. I don't. I don't want to go to Kakariko Village. Really. Well, too bad. Well, actually, yeah, you don't want to. Let's. After we walk outside the Temple of Time, let's go look at this amazing view of Death Mountain. Isn't this freaking scary? We're not gonna cut. But I'd still need to start the watch. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh. And we'll show you what Pigman was talking about last episode and spoiling everything for us. The market, as you can see, looks kind of different. Yeah, a little bit. Just a tad bit. Looks very different. It's it kind of scary. It actually looks more scarier. This always confused me. You can see right here that it looks like the, th the drawbridge is broken. Can't you see that? Yeah. Do you want to know why the drawbridge looks like it's broken? Why? Well, because if you turn around... It is broken! Yeah, I know. Because whatever happened in seven years was pretty awful. And now we can't get all those rupees by climbing up the chains. Hey, let's go to Lon Lon Ranch. Oh, yeah. I don't like doing the lawn lawn ranch thing either. As you can see, the world kind of looks the same as you walk out of a yeah. Uh, you walk out of the market, but something should happen. Well, yeah, something should happen that could probably make it different, but we don't know when it will happen yet for the first time. Yeah. Zax, get out of here, Zax. Zax. It's a cat. I remember when you blew one up. Yeah, uh, that that's not nice. Don't <laughs> bring that up. Oh, you know what we forgot to do? What? 
put up the songs. Oh. No, we can do that later. Aren't you gonna do a nice and go voice? Oh. It's a me, Luigi! There are some people in Coco spreading rumors that I cheated Talon out of the ranch, but. Don't be ridiculous! Oh ho ho! Turned up the TV. Oh, sorry. That guy Talon was weak! I, the hard working Luigi, poured so much energy into this place. I don't want any strangers like you saying anything bad about me. Listen, Great Ganondorf recognized my obvious talents and gave the ranch to me, Luigi. I will raise a fine horse and win recognition from the Great Ganondorf. Say, young man, do you want to ride one of my fine horses? Pay me ten rupees and you can ride. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Do you want to hear how to ride? No. no. We're pros, we can explain to you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Find Epona. You want to pull out your ocarina? Play your opponent's song. Up. Right. Oh, up, left, right. No, you could just go up, left, right. I thought you had to restart. No, you don't. Oh, I I've been trying that. to explain that to you I since... I actually never knew that. Since the first time we got the ocarina. And then Epona should come to you. Or Epona's right there. Yeah, I knew where Epona was. I could tell by the color of Epona. And we just ride him around, I think. Yeah. Do we ride Because if we're doing something wrong, I'm going to be disappointed in myself. We're going to have to use opponent to do a lot of things, so why not yeah. get opponent now? I know. I knew that, that thing was there. The rubies. I don't think there's one over the big one, though. That's ridiculous. Woohoo! Why don't you try riding towards uh, Luigi? I call him Luigi and I call Talon Mario if you haven't guessed because they both look like Mario and Luigi. See ya. Uh... Okay, I don't think it works. No, you gotta wait until your time is up. I thought you did. Ah! Oh my gosh, that, that's a scary face. Hey, time's it up, young man. You only paid the ten rupees. You've played around long enough. How about you challenge me to a race? Wuss. Pay me ten rupees and you can ride. Let's see what happens if you don't ride. Oh, did I do that? Yeah, you did that. Yay. Maybe well, we can at least just show them what happens if you... Get another horse. It's the same thing as riding a Pona. But we like a Pona. So. Let's say, shouldn't we call a Pona over right in front of Ingo? Do we? I think so. Because I thought we were just supposed to. I don't know. Alright. Ingo's just like. What are you doing? It's like in a perfect statue. It's like a statue of Ingo. And talk to him? Yes, I'm done. Because I think you're supposed to say don't ride. Yeah, you think? Oh, then what do we do? Fun! Let's cut right here for like five seconds. Derp! Okay, they need a timer. Alright, oh, yeah. we are back. I will learn how to do that. Okay. Go down to tools. Below converter. Timer. Hello, we are back. Right. And we are stupid. I, I guess I'm gonna listen. But I know how to skip listening. <laughs> I'm not gonna even play the horse song because I know exactly where to go to find a button. She's always standing right there. When you start in the oh, she does run away. I forgot. Are you proud of me? Yeah. Brandon? Yeah. I'm proud of me too. Where'd you Turn go? Where'd you 
go. <laughs> yeah, just Don't. push me, opponent. Now you must go over to Luigi. Aim at him. Are the gates open? Oh. Remember, it's now C. It's now C. Yeah. You're gay? You're getting better. How about a little race with me? One lap around the car aisle with the horse. Let's make a little wager. Say 50 rupees. Oh man, that's a lot of rupees. Do it. I failed this race a few times. That's sad. I'd stay on the inside. Make sure you save your carrots. Oh, no fair. Slowest race ever. Catch up to him. He's saying stay on the inside. Link taking the lead um, in front of Luigi. Luigi spanking the ass of the horse. And, uh, oh, we got uh, Luigi coming on in from the outside. Oh, we got Link and Epona taking the lead. Taking the lead. Um, uh, go through one lap. And, um, Luigi gets his arse kicked. Okay. I was going for a second, but he didn't let me. Great Ganondorf found out about this humiliation. Hey you, how about another race? If you win, you can keep the horse. Good evening everybody and welcome to Psychiatric Circus Horse Racing League. Today, we will put Link up face to face with Ingo, or Luigi as some people like to call him. Today seems like a beautiful day for a great race, and they're off. Now Link getting a Getting a little uh, close to what? Uh, whoa, whoa, what is this? Link getting the lead, get, getting the lead, getting the lead, getting the lead. Luigi getting back, getting back and back. And oh, with a really great head start, Link is coming around the corral. Oh, here comes Luigi getting up on his tail. It seems as though Link seems to go, he's gonna win. 20 seconds has come by. 20 fucking seconds. Wow! Oh my gosh, and Link seems to be victorious. I'm Brandon, and welcome back to whatever I was commentating. And we are back. What's up with that horse? Is that Epona? How did you tame that wild horse right under my nose? Actually, it was right in front of your face. Uh, he does have a pretty big nose. It could have been underneath. I was going to present that horse to the great Ganondorf, but I bet it on a race and lost. Shoo! <laughs> As I promised, I'll give you the horse. I'll give the horse to you. However, I'll never let you leave this ranch. Oh no! Whatever will I do? I got an idea. Uh, did, did I just hear Navi say hey? I don't know, but I think the idea is. Woohoo! Yeah, that's the idea. Well, I'd probably commit suicide doing that, but I normally go out like the actual way of Lon Lon Ranch. What? You can do that? Yeah, you can do that. No, I always just went out the back. Oh. Ah, who cares? As long we're out of there. Now okay. we can get around places a lot faster without. Okay, hearing. guys, we're almost done with this episode, so why don't we hurry up, ride a Pona all the way over to Kakariko Village, and. Yeah. So we'll show you Kokoriko Kokoriko Village, but we will not cut because we're still in new Hyrule. Yeah, so you guys can see the amazing views. <sighs> Nobody cares about the amazing views. New Hyrule is pretty nice. New Hyrule is very nice. But yeah, now you need to get off of Epona here. Now that we've got Epona. Every time we play Epona's song. Really? Down, boy. Alright. Now we play Epona's song anytime Epona will come out and will let us ride her. Only but, outside, and she'll never come like if you're in the middle of a dungeon. <laughs> yeah, that'd be awesome. That'd be pretty cool. Just to I love how this tree got big. <laughs> the only thing that grew up was that tree. And Link. And Link. I met in this village. So, how much time do we have left? A minute and 43 seconds. So let's go hang out at that house over there. Let's what go house? The house that you just passed by. The one that you were heading towards and you're just like... This one? Detour, yeah. 
But why would we do that? You'll see. Whoa! That's everyone ever! It's Michael Cantrell. <laughs> it's Michael. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's me, Mario! So, should we end it up or should we add, talk to some people? Let's talk to some people. See how it's uh, going around here. Oh, there's a freaking transvestite lady. <coughs> yeah. Were you actually coughing? <coughs> yes. Are you okay? I choked on my spit. Oh. I'm <coughs> now, um, doing alright. Mumble mumble. Sorry to make you worry. It's a me, Mario. Folks around here tell of a fabulously rich family once lived in one of the houses in this village. But they say that the entire family was cursed due to their greed. Who knows what might happen to those who are consumed by greed. Turn into sculptures. Oh. Look at him! The man with the beard! I think he was fired from his job at the ranch, Mugai. This isn't the He's always... Person. Not, no, not... Impa, I gave her the actual Mr. Whatever his name is. I keep Mr. Garrison. Not no, Mr. Not Garrison. Mr. Uh, Mr. Mackey. Mackey. No, Mackey. 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 Yeah, Mackey. Ma Mr. Mackey's going. Hey. He, he's awfully carefree guy during such hard times, guy. Okay. Cause remember, I gave her. Okay, that's our clock. Yeah. So why don't we look at Michael Cantrell as we end this episode? Uh, hi, Michael. Hi, Michael. I'm Matt. I'm Brandon. We don't have a Michael. And that's Michael right there. Mm, goodbye. Freaking stupid Navi. Two hours later. So I was sitting there, I'm like, cigarettes. I want some cigarettes. Like the whole time.